All right, guys, so here we are. Um, the race surfaces are ready to uh, have the races installed. There's the inner bearing race for the pinion and the outer race uh, location. Just need to make sure I get this shoulder cleaned up. Got some Q-tips here. I'm going to put some uh, brake clean in there, swab it out with Q-tips, make sure that shoulder is nice and clean and ready to have those races installed. Now, uh, I do have a problem that arise. I was not aware of this until I opened the packaging yesterday, but uh, here's our Ford racing pinion. And that's it. And here's our pinion that came out of a car. Just slightly larger. Um, by quite a bit, actually. So if you put the, the pinions together, Okay, the shoulders are not the same. The shoulder right here, completely different. And there's a solid inch, inch and a half longer length. Um, so that's not going to work. So I've got to contact the uh, seller and return those. Not sure if I'm going to wait for a new set or whether I'm going to reinstall the old. Haven't made that decision yet. Um, but I'm going to have to hurry up and make that decision as to whether I do this or not. Mainly because of the uh, the bearings moving forward, but I'll get all the races placed in the case today at a minimum. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right. So the first thing I want to do, obviously, is make sure I've got the right driver in my bearing driver, and uh, we've gone ahead and cleaned up the bearing at this point. Made sure that the surfaces were had all the oil removed, that it is the right bearing, and uh, fits down in its housing and it's squared up. So we've got all the surfaces cleaned and it's important to note that these are a uh, machined aluminum so it's a softer material than this bearing and the bevel is not riding in the race it's just kind of floating in there. We're driving down on the shoulder of the race. That's what's driving this. And that's what you're looking for is that sound difference that that you can tell the case was hopping around i've got this on a nice rubber mat so it's not going to do any harm i can flip it over now and look inside and see that it's sitting on its perch all the way around there's a light coat of oil on it from the factory they like to take those caged rollers and oil them a little bit We'll get that worked out and make sure the surfaces are nice and smooth, unmarred. There should be nothing from the factory. We'll set him down in there and see how he sits. These are really nice bearings. Alright, it sits perfect. Alright. It is below that lip. Alright, it's not elegant, but it's a solution. Here's the race that came out of the case. Here's that adjustable driver. Got it set so that it sets up on that shoulder. I'm going to put the lips of the shoulder onto that shoulder. And there's almost no wiggle room, so I should have some very good strikes here. Got an airplane going overhead right now, of course, right? Every time I want to record a video. That's even all the way around, so it didn't go in crooked. Let's take a look at the bottom here. Yay, it's fully seated. That worked out pretty well. And before I forget, let's put in these uh, axle bearings. So make sure the housing is clean. Get the bearings seated in there. And, uh,. Looks like this is going to be the proper, proper drive. I could use this dude. Grab 
Just about flush. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's below this level here. Get the seal. Put the new seals in. Now for this, I'm just going to go around the edge. Fully driven in, everything looks really good. Only thing left to do is replace those carrier bearings and uh, get stuck on that right now. It's a bunch. All right, so we're going to take this one down to the basement and uh, in order to get this off, but I was correct that, that someone has been in this, this uh, differential before me. They re put new bearings in it, and I think that's what's gone out of the carrier bearings. The way these carriers are machined from the factory, they need the um, posts here. They need the shoulders to be perfectly machined, and this is not a casting inclusion. This is an actual cut mark. Whoever was in here last cut those bearings off. There we go. Ready? Go. Stamps here. Right now. side has any cut marks. If they cut them off this side, they did a much better job than the last side. Alright, since we're in here already, um, we're going to go ahead and take the ring gear off now. These bolts should have somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 foot-pounds, um, Jesus, uh, 100 foot-pounds of torque on them. So we are going to take a minute and try to break these free. And there's one. There's one. We're left with pulling the pinion uh, bearing and getting that set back up on the new pinion when it comes in. But I have to order a new pinion because the pinion that I have, the Ford Racing pinion, does not fit. I don't know why, um, but it doesn't. So. Go ahead and get these out of here, clean these surfaces up. I'll get this into the garage and get it thoroughly cleaned. 